some workers and shoppers were attacked by armed men in front of Abuja's known Jabi Lake Mall on Monday at about 8 p.m. It was reported that the incident occurred on Monday, the 24th of April, 2023. Some workers who bother the tricycle, popularly known as Kakena Pep, in front of the mall were assaulted with sticks and machets. Their phones and other possessions were also carried away. Like every other mall in the country, Jabi Lake Mall saw a tremendous crowd of both shopping and tourists throughout the Ramadan celebration. Some people who spoke anonymously complained about how many tourists discouraged potential shoppers from shopping. When asked about the identification of the hoodlums and whether this was the first time such an incident occurred, one of the victims stated, This is not the first time. Each time they are celebrating their festive season like this, this thing happens a lot. It has happened to my colleague before. Last year, they tried collecting her phone, but still, she succeeded, they couldn't. Every year, this thing keeps happening. Every year, this is not the first time. According to an eyewitness, a woman was also robbed of her phones and other stuff. On Tuesday, Red TV was on site. In an exclusive interview, a worker and an eyewitness told our correspondent that. At about 8 p.m., when I closed from work, I was about going to home. I went um, outside the lake, outside the mall, to book a keke down to the garage so I can take a Uber to my house. And this outside guy, they call the Zimma Low Boys or what? They now attacked us. Uh, we are like uh, about five, five of us and a guy among us. So before we know, the guy asked us to enter inside the keke. So when we enter, the five of, I think four of the girls, we have four, including the guys, that is one. So we entered inside the keke. Then these guys now, these uh, Zimalo boys or Fulani guys, they just came and dragged the boy outside, started beating him with machetes and then, and then some sticks, started beating him. The guy gave me his phone, that I should hold his phone, that we should start going, we should start going. We are shouting at the keke, keke please move, move, move. The keke was still standing there. I, maybe, I, I think maybe the keke is among them, as in among the guys. So we like shouting, please go, 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 go. The keke refused to go. The boy is now leave the other guy that we attack him. And then attacked us with the ladies. So they drag us outside from the keke, beat us, I think they were with machet, beat us, and then collected all our phones. The other lady they collected her bag, her phone, her ATM, everything. Two of the ladies they collected their bags and everything. Me, they collected my phone. As in, we, just, we are just stranded, we are just stranded that yesterday. The mall was observed to have just unarmed private security guards. Another eyewitness stated, On Sunday, I closed from work around 6 p.m. And then it took me like, if I'm not mistaken, almost 37 minutes to go out of the gates because the crowd was, was too much. Those outside wants to come inside and then the mall management were, were trying to control those from inside to at least go outside because it was just it was a mess you can't even go to the stores potential customers could not come to the stores to buy the the car park normally used to be filled with cars on weekends but because of the menace of the population of these people who are not even potentials it was it was a serious thing and then yesterday we came to work we heard that some of them even were fighting with cutlass and sticks at the front of one of the stores here in Miniso. And then we closed yesterday night, which was on the 24th, at about 8 p.m. We we're outside and then some of my colleagues that we, not colleagues in the store though, in other stores, like we just move out together and then everybody finds their way. And then. I was in my own vehicle because I was most okay all the time. We usually take um, keke to our various bus stops before you can move out of move to your various destinations. But yesterday I was lucky. I got a vehicle going directly to my destination, and then we were inside waiting for the vehicle to get filled up. Just one person left. The next thing was I seeing them running from the other side of the road to the other end and then I, we just felt maybe 
they were trying to chase some other keke people from carrying their passengers and then only for us to, uh, to hear that our colleagues that we worked out together they attacked they were beaten injured and then phones and uh, properties were stolen from them only for the security people to be saying that it, that it even happened some minutes ago even to um, the um, taxi drivers that used to carry drugs around the mother they, 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 they attacked them they attacked the driver collected his phone and all of that there were rumors that terrorists harassed store employers for not allowing them to take pictures or videos in their shops when asked about the authenticity of this rumor she stated only the fact that I had, I didn't experience firsthand. But like most of the time, they want to come into your store to snap. And when you tell them, it looks like, okay, if, if you know you have to eat, come and push me out of the store. You have to beg them to actually evacuate your space. Did you have? Yes, most of them were having this, their cutlass. And then some of them were holding sticks and all of that. It's only their ladies that were, you know, their ladies are not actually armed, but the guys, most of them, especially the Fulanese, we are having their sticks and their cutlasses. She further said that the security guards at the gate were attacked on Sunday for denying tourists access to the mall. On Sunday, that I closed and were waiting to go out, these guys were practically fighting the mall security because they, they were insisting that they want to come inside. And every other day at night one will close because only Sundays we close earlier than other days. So other days one will close. We can't even follow the main exit. We use the emergency evacuation um, exit to go out of the mall. And it's always been like that from year to year. In order to provide a balanced report, our correspondent also visited the mall's management's office. Those we spoke with at the management office described how security personnel and facilities have been strategically deployed throughout the mall to protect the safety of people and properties. They also claimed that such an incident had not been reported and that anything that occurred outside the mall was inconsequential to them. Such incident has not been reported to the management. We will take necessary action when we have such information. Anything that happens outside the mall is not our business, but inside the mall. Such can never happen.